Now, with aerodynamics all important, Formula One teams use wind tunnels to maximise their performance on the racetrack. Ferrari's just opened a very impressive new facility, and of course, it's very special. Built on a greenfield site at their Maranello headquarters, this is perhaps the most sophisticated and elegant facility of its kind anywhere in the world. At the heart of the tunnel is a huge fan, five metres in diameter, which produces an airflow equivalent to 125 miles an hour. Rory Byrne is Ferrari's chief designer. Wind tunnel development work is absolutely essential in Formula One, so every team ha does wind tunnel research. But the advantage of having your own tunnel as opposed to hiring a tunnel, A, is that you've got the use of it all the time. B, you can update the facility, you can make changes uh, to the facility. Uh, in a nutshell, it gives you exclusivity, it gives you more research time in the tunnel because you've, you've got a tunnel f uh, available full time. The car is in fact a 65% scale model of this year's Ferrari. It sits on a rolling road powered from below, while smoke streamers and sensors on the car provide feedback to the engineers. It's like all, uh, all experiments, you need uh, constant conditions, you need a constant set of conditions in which to develop. And that's why we use the wind tunnel rather than a car, because on the circuit, wind changes, circuit temperature changes, uh, so you're getting all sorts of changes uh, that you can't control and uh, those really prevent you doing the sort of experiments we can do in the wind tunnel on the car because we're looking for very small improvements i mean improvements of the order of one percent uh, included in effic aerodynamic efficiency uh, is, a, is a significant improvement and uh, uh, it's quite difficult to get uh, that level of repeatability on an experiment at the circuit on the car.